go guys, Daytona 500. I've always wanted to shoot this race and we've been shooting all the support races up until this point. So we, we shot the truck race. I had a chance to shoot Xfinity yesterday, which was super cool. The weather's been awesome. Kind of looking forward to shooting this race. I want to push really hard to try to get some creative stuff. Uh, I just wanted to get some stuff that's not very traditional in terms of uh, NASCAR coverage. So I've just been walking around shooting uh, the cars as they're lined up here. Been trying to get as much stuff in the pits as possible. It's really, really restrictive just because there's just so many secrets with the teams they want to uh, not let us really shoot anything. So I can't shoot anything near the front of the cars most of the time because uh, the engine bay, there's a lot of stuff that's uh, secret, I guess. But it's crazy how many people are here already. The stands are filling out and uh, it actually took quite a while just to get in this morning because of how many people are trying to get into the stadium. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys uh, how I cover a race like this. I normally don't shoot NASCAR. I've only shot it one time before. So this is my second time shooting NASCAR slash this kind of oval racing. And it's so exciting. It's actually really, really fun. It's really cool, especially being in the pits. <laughs> If you ever have a chance to watch one of these races, try to get a pit pass and watching these guys come in for tire changes, for fuel, for minor repairs, it's absolutely amazing. It's so cool. It is like old school racing in a way because it's like so messy and people are yelling and it's, it's so cool. I love it. Uh, so. They're about to do driver introductions, so I'm going to shoot that and then we'll pick it up from after the race starts. This is insane. This is kind of before the front grandstands. Such a crazy place to shoot. I shot a couple laps at the turn before the straightaway. It wasn't too exciting, so I'm going to move to the pits. the Daytona 500. What a crazy week it's been. We shot the Supra, which uh, you guys will see a video of that. We shot a bunch of other TRD cars and wow, I've only shot one NASCAR race before and this was a great way to kind of get back into it and get reintroduced to this series. It's insane. There's just so many things that I want to talk about and so many things that really kind of blew my mind. Like. It's just so primitive in a way. These guys, when they get into crashes and when things fall off and when things need to be fixed, they come in and the tools, they're not precision tools that the crew guys use. They use hammers, they use baseball bats. Legit, they use baseball bats to kind of pop the fender out or uh, kind of like roll the fenders once they've gotten pushed in. It's just a different kind of racing and I'm so glad it still exists 
and I'm so glad that it's so popular. I could not believe how many people came to watch this race. I just, I love it. I love it. I love photographing it. It's one of those races where you cannot watch on TV. You have to experience it here. So if you have a chance to come here and check it out, get a pit pass. It's completely worth it. It's the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I didn't quite, like last year. Didn't quite get there. Close.